Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, hope you're having a great start of this weekend. So welcome to this new video on uh, on Dogecoin. Wanted to do an update. I mean, in general, the last time I covered it, I think we just bounced on top of this level here on Tuesday, on top of 11 and a half cents, which was back then, that was the main level we were talking about, right? That, that was the main level that um, seemed at that point of time like a good buy area that obviously changed when the fundamentals changed. I mean, in general, what... what what you could see here is that when Dogecoin was quite bullish, this entire level right here between 12 and 11 and a half cents, also on the higher time frames, just was a very strong support level. Um, so that's also what I said. I, I think that's an interesting buy area or that's an interesting area to buy if we actually get some, some support from that. Uh, but in the end, Monday, Tuesday, when we actually got that uncertainty, when, when gold started rallying, when stock, stock markets also fell down a bit, the situation changes, right? Because for a level like this to hold after such a big bullish breakout we had the weekend and the week before, um, you need bullish market circumstances. And the market circumstances have changed for the worse a bit. Um, so what you can see right now is that the market circumstances, aka Bitcoin, is uh, getting a little bit more bullish, is trying to recover. So then Dogecoin also gets more interesting. But you can very clearly see that we instantly broke back down below 11.8 .8 cents, uh, where you have the value area high, which is in general uh, the most important level also to break out now. You have the 200 EMA. So with the close on Monday, you already knew that, that this was not going to hold the breakout we had from, from the weekend before. Um, so if we then get to the price right now, what you can see, and, and this is, look, I, I like price structures like this, right? Because what you can see right now for, for Dogecoin, is that there's a very clear structure, or at least in my eyes, there's a very clear structure where we have a strong support level down here, uh, let's say at, uh, at 9.5 cents, even though the value area low is actually more towards 9 cents. So nine and a half, nine cents, strong support level. And then we have a strong resistance level right here between 11 and a half and 12 cents. And what we are waiting for, and, and then we, we now we, we've bounced relatively nicely from, from the POC in the middle, so what we have to wait for is some sort of a breakout out of this range. And um, the last time we did that, we actually got a very nice bullish, uh, bullish breakout here, bullish retest. It was a great opportunity. I think this breakout, everything about that breakout was right. All right. We had the volume. We had the momentum. Here you can see the volume, which was great. Um, or, or there you can see the momentum. Momentum was great. But if you look at the volume as well, we, we got volume over 1.5 billion. So that is what we need to see again, right? If we can see that again, we'll break out. And then I do think we'll be able to hold it because the only reason why we were not able to hold it is in this case, I would say an, an, an anomaly, all right? You don't often get news like that, which causes the entire risk on markets to crash. Um, so that's what we're waiting for. So for now, I would say Dogecoin does not have that momentum and does not have that volume. So I don't expect any type of a breakout. Um, Bitcoin is recovering a bit. So I think Dogecoin can be bullish into 11 and a half, maybe 12 cents. Um, but for now, I would say it's most likely to assume that we're just going to consolidate in this area. And then at some point of time, and that's the main thing you need to be prepared for. That's the main thing you need to be, you, you need to be ready for. At some point of time, you'll see the momentum slowly start to ramp up. You'll see position building coming in. You see some big wheels coming in as well. And that's when we can break above 12 cents. And that's the main opportunity. All right. So that's what we're waiting for. At this point of time, I don't think it's most likely. I think lower time frames, we can be bullish. I just don't think we'll break out. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated on that if, if the breakout is coming closer. For now, I think that's what you need to know. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.